All right, now let's talk about special weapons. Uh, the one I've got here is a GM6 Lynx Anti-Material Recall Rifle. Notice the recall animation. It has thermal imaging optics, uh, so when I look through it, I can see this Hunter off-road vehicle there, I can see its glowing engine, and uh, when I hit the engine block, the car is immobilized. Now let's talk about anti-personnel uh, bouncing mines. When they're triggered, they first jump up to approximately 1.5 meters and then explode. Pretty nasty stuff, to be honest. But, conscience aside, we've planted the mine and now, from a distance, we can observe the enemy patrol closing in on it. Uh, simulation has been slowed down for your viewing pleasure. Observe how the mine actually jumps up before exploding. We're also planning to include tripwires, directional charges, and more destructive options for your tactical needs and wants. So, the last part of our special weapons presentation is the artillery support. I've got two artillery units in my team. I can order them to fire at these two tanks. High explosives, burst of four. No, it takes some time before shells arrive as the units are about five clicks away. In the meantime, let's take on some ragdoll animations. No, how he's dropped his gun before he's falling. And uh, there's another. And he's down. The artillery round should be well on the way now, so let's just observe the havoc. Okay, here's the first pair of rounds. Second. Third. One tank down. Fourth and the second tank down. Notice the rounds also destroy the environment. 